Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Narali and today we are going to be making some, well my version of the Starbucks banana nut bread. Um, I hope it turns out delicious and I wanted to share this recipe with y'all so stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So for this recipe, we are, it is calling for two cups of flour. So let's get that going. I did get a, um, what do you call it? A siffer, suffer? No, not suffer, no, nobody's suffering. A siffer, this thing, okay? <laughs> I can't think of the word right now. Making soda. Ooh. Oh, that's a little bit more than a tablespoon. I'm doing great. <laughs> there you go. We we're doing amazing. Alrighty. That's one tablespoon of baking powder. And then we need And then, oh, and then we need um, half a tablespoon of cinnamon. We like cinnamon. I like you. Have a cupcake. Cinnamon, cinnamon. We like you, cinnamon. Boom. Cinnamon. And then, mm -hmm, yep, you're going through the strainer too. There you have it. Um, sugar. We need one and one eighth of sugar. One and one eighth. Okay. One and one eighth of sugar. Okay. One moment, please. One eighth. We need one eighth of sugar. One fourth teaspoon. Oh! Oops. Okay, so let's do the sugar. Sugar and spice and everything nice. Okay. Oh, well, let's not push. Ah, okay. Oh, there you have it. I pushed. Okay, what? One. 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 Da -da 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 -da. One. Uno. Uno. I wonder, would this go through? Yes, I will. Okay, cool. See, there's balls on that too. <laughs> Meh. Come on. And then, um... That's gonna be some sweet stuff. Okay. Bye. I do see that there's other people that did this recipe very different from this way, but um, yeah, I'm gonna try this one and see what happens. Hopefully something good, right? <laughs> yep, me too. <laughs> okay, all right, so that is it for the dry ingredients. So let's go ahead and mix those. Let's mix those together forever. Let's mix those. So we want to mix those. Here we go. I really hope I'm doing this right. Well, it's not that I'm not doing it right, but... Oh! <sighs> okay. As you can tell, I'm not much of a baker or somebody that cooks. You know, I'm, I think, I feel that I'm not very good at it, but I like doing it. I just got that on everything. Okay. Oh, we'll just clean that later. Okay. So let's go on to the wet ingredients. Yeah, I like, I like baking and I do like cooking. Am I magnificently great like other people? No. <laughs> no. Not at all, but, uh. 
but we're gonna do this anyways so okay so you need uh, three ripe bananas I did have three but my three-year-old ran away with the other one with the third one so you know like this that's ripe um, you don't wanna if you don't have any ripe bananas though um, if you're planning to make this recipe like the following day and you just didn't find any ripe bananas you know you can keep them in the bag and that will help the uh, help ripen them if you don't have any ripe bananas you can also stick them in the oven for um, about 20 minutes on just 300 degrees at 300 degrees sorry and um, they should ripen up a bit so but I, I I usually leave them in the bag like you know you buy them from the store and you keep them in the bag they will begin to ripen by the next day if you want them like super ripe because the more ripe the more um, how do you call it um, the more ripe the more sweeter they are like they're sweeter so um, yeah if you want them like super super ripe I would leave them in the bag maybe like three days and that should be like good and you're basically just gonna mash these up guys that's all these were actually in my refrigerator so they're a little cold and harder you do want to do everything room temperature just because it's easier to uh, maneuver like man manipulate I suppose if that's the correct word yep because otherwise you're gonna have a bunch of bubbles and chunks of stuff or curdles Kernels is the word. Yep. We just want to mash them up very well. I'm actually excited. Banana bread, anything, like any type of recipe of banana bread, I think it's just bomb. But when it's moist, it's awesome. So hopefully this comes out, this recipe turns out for a very moist bread. Yep, that's kind of what it's supposed to look like. Just like that. Um, if you don't want to like go through the mashing, you can always, if you have a food processor, um, you can do them in the food processor really quickly, or you can do them in your bullet or ninja or whatever you have. Um, you can put them in there and, uh, and just smooth it all the way out if you're not looking to have any type of chunk at all. Um, yeah. But this is obviously the, the manual way to do it. <laughs> So yeah, I think that looks about right. That looks good. Okay, so let's move on to the next. Okay, for the wet ingredients, you're going to need uh, one egg. So we got one wibble. You can put whatever egg you want in there. Any shade is per, you know, any shade is, is fine. Okay, any shade. Um, so we have one egg. Then you need, um, where is it? Hello? Oh, you need two tablespoons of buttermilk. I can't find my tablespoon thing. Um, hold on. Let me shake this. Um, this is a uh, low fat cultured buttermilk. They didn't have regular one. I, yeah. So, anyways, make sure you shake this because I noticed that it had separated. So, we want to shake that. And we will do two tablespoons of that. That is so thick. It smells like yogurt. Is this yogurt? No. It smells, okay. This is measured as two tablespoons. I just put it in this container. So there you have it. And then, then you wanna put the cap back on that so you don't drop it. And then we need um, one tablespoon of vanilla. Uh, I just got, you know, Walmart brand vanilla. Just some vanilla. There you go. Some vanilla. And then I know there's other recipes that I call for butter. Mine is calling for half a cup of vegetable oil. So we're gonna do half a cup of vegetable oil. Yes. Okay, hold on. Oh. Well, okay then. That looks stylish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did we get everything on the checklist? Yep. Okay. Okay, and for this, I'm just literally gonna whip it. Whip it real. Okay. Just 
We're just gonna do, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna use a fork for that. Okay. I'm gonna use a fork for this, you know, just like you would make like breakfast eggs. But I don't know if that's gonna mix very well. At least I'm gonna. Oh! Okay, uh, we got flying oil around here. That looks, that does not look okay. That looks weird. Huh. We got flying stuff all over the place. Okay. Well, maybe next time I'll follow a different recipe. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so after that, let's go ahead and start putting in um let me get my container. We're gonna put this to the side bring our dry ingredients in and yeah where's my mixer let's get the mixer and we need the mixer okay so i'm gonna go ahead and add the other ingredients i'm gonna go ahead and add that first and before i use the mixer i'm gonna go ahead and just incorporate it you don't you don't want to over mix well, that's what they said. I don't know. We just don't want to overmix. So that's not what we're, that's what we're gonna not do. We're not gonna overmix. And calm, and calm. And um, then we'll go ahead and add the banana. We'll go ahead and add the banana. Okay. You have it. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. We are going to just incorporate it like that. Okay, and then we can go ahead and mix. Wow! Okay. We'll go ahead. We're gonna move that to the side just because we are gonna need that here in a minute. And we can go ahead and mix. I'm gonna mix low. Okay, and then let's go ahead and grab the nuts. The walnuts. How much of this? Uh... So it calls for like half a cup of walnuts, but I mean, I think if you're a big fan of walnuts, then you should incorporate as much as you want. Am I right or am I right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I just got these from good old Walmartsy from Walmart. So the ones in this bedroom. Oh, they fall in there. They're kind of whole, so you might want to chop them up. Again, if you have a food processor or something else, you can get these chopped up just a little bit. So let's chop these up real quick. I don't want them too, too small, so I was about to go in. Oh, this is like I chop up cilantro. If you like them thick, if you like them thick, if you like the walnuts thick, then leave them the way they are. But if you do want them to be in smaller chunks, then I would recommend that you chop them up. Okay, it's about a half a cup. And then the other half where you want to um, keep them for, so you can garnish it. Don't forget to preheat your oven. You can go ahead and spray your pan. Make sure you get the corners, the edges I mean. All right, and here we go. We're gonna put the mix in. All righty. 
I'm gonna go ahead and grab this little spatula and grab what's on stuck on the edges of the on the walls of the bowl. If that makes any sense. There we go. There we go. Okay. Make sure we scoop all of that up. Oh my goodness. I just have to tell you, this was beyond the best thing I have ever made. It was so delicious, so moist. Its texture was there. It was the bomb. Like, I highly recommend this. You will not be disappointed with this recipe. This was not hard to make, guys. Um, even time-wise, I believe I spent maybe an hour and a half. It could be a lot less. And that includes cooking time. And you will save yourself a ton of money when you can make yourself a whole loaf, okay? So, highly recommend the recipe. I hope y'all try it, guys. And thank you so much for joining me today. Well, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did happen to like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. It is free. And if you do want to keep up with my videos and receive notifications every time I do upload to my channel, don't forget to hit that bell. And um, stop by and say hi, guys, down in the comments. I would really appreciate it. All right, guys, that is it for today. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.